Hey guys, so I am continuing on with my fairy tales. I don't even know if this one's a fairy tale anymore. It's just like a classic tale sort of. Um, and it is The Little Red Hen. And I really like this story. Last year when I did this story, we also made bread in the classroom and I wanted to do that again this year, but we won't be able to. So hopefully next year um, we'll be able to make some bread with the bread maker and you guys will get to try some bread from the bread maker. Um, but I might make some pretzels or some dough or something like that, we'll see. But anyway, this is the little red hen and it's gonna have words like flower and it's not talking about flower like the flower on my head, it's talking about flower like the white stuff that you cook with but I can go, I'm gonna go grab it. Hold on, let me show you some flour. So here is a bag of flour. It's white and kind of powdery and you use it to do things like make cakes and make breads. Uh, make pretzels and just other sorts of things. So this book has wheat and flour in it. So we are going to read it. Oh, and this one's written by the same author as the book we read Monday. It's written by Paul Galdon. And this one is an AR book. So you can take an AR test on this book. So this is The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen. close out on the clothesline. The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. Those are sardines as a type of fish. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by, by the fireside. Dreaming of cheese. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds and swept, she swept the floors and washed the windows and mended the clothes. That means that she fixed the clothes when they were, when they had holes in them. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day, when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Right down there. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red 
red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. So that was that stuff I showed you. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered, the st she gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. So back then you had to light your oven, like light it, like actually like a fireplace sort of. My daddy had an oven like that in his house. Soon a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. Mmm. Cat could smell. What could the cat smell? Yeah, it could smell the bread or the cake. The dog got up from the sunny Sorry. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. Mmm. He's got his nose in the air. He's sniffing something. He smells that cake. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking the beautiful cake out of the oven. eat this cake asked the little red hen I will cried the cat I will cried the dog I will cried the mouse mm. but the little red hen said all by myself I planted the wheat I tended the wheat I cut the wheat I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks, built the fire, mixed the cake, and all by myself, I am going to eat it. Mmm, I think the cat, that dog, and that mouse are learning a lesson right now. Oh, look at them. <laughs> they look like they want some of that bread. She ate it all by herself, or the cake keep calling it a bread. Some places they call it a cake, some places they call it a bread. And so she did to the very last crumb. After that, after that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. they learned not to be so lazy didn't they all right so remember this is an AR book so you can take an AR test on it um, yeah I like this story I'm gonna ask you some questions let me think of some questions first my first question is usually the same question who are the characters in this story Excellent, we had the mouse, the cat, the dog, and the hen, the little red hen. Hen is another word for chicken. It's like a female chicken. All right, so what was the little red hen baking? Excellent job, the little red hen was baking a cake. So what the story, the story kept saying that, they were, that she was baking a cake. Now, I have another question for you. Why did the little red hen not share the cake? Excellent, the little red hen did not share the cake because nobody helped her make that cake. Now here is my last question. Now this one doesn't necessarily have a right answer. What would you do if you made the cake, you planted the wheat, you cut the wheat, you watered the wheat, you ground it up into flour, you mix all the ingredients together, and you did all that work to make a cake, and then all of a sudden your friends and your family want to come over and say, hey, how's it going? Can I have some cake? Yeah. 
what would you do? Would you share the cake or would you keep it all to yourself? That is up to you. You can answer that question however you want to answer. If you want to, you can put your answer in the uh, comment section. Um, yeah. Other than that, you can take an AR test. Uh, if I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know what I was about to say. But yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Make sure you wash your hands and listen to your parents. I will catch you all next time. Bye.